And the most powerful way to manifest, if you have a vision in your mind of what it is you want to achieve or create or manifest. Welcome my friend, my name is Lance and I help people to level up and live their best life. In this video, Eckhart Tolle's four tips to manifest in 2023, plus the one mistake we all make when manifesting. Now let's dive into it. Tip number one, the power of gratitude. Is the importance of what is conventionally called gratitude, but there could be other words. Gratitude uh, is a very powerful transformational tool and also one of the most powerful tools for manifesting better things in your life. Now, what does that mean? The gratitude is to, to acknowledge the good in your life now. And you, it's surprising how many people don't do that, who can only see the bad in their lives or only complain, but it's a, extremely powerful to acknowledge the good that's in your life now because that's a misconception, a very common misconception of gratitude, is you compare yourself to somebody else or even a whole group of people. So you look at people in the third world, I really should be grateful. I sh I, we are so much better off, even though I may be poor, but I'm still better off than people. So let's be grateful. No, that's not real gratitude. You're depending on others to be worse off than you, to, but you can feel gratitude. It's crazy. It's, it feeds the ego. <laughs> no, gratitude is to acknowledge the good that's in your life now, now, this moment. Okay, so it's not the good in your life situation. I'm, I'm fine because I have achieved this or that or whatever. No, at this moment. And that's simple things. It really comes down to simple things. What can I be grateful for at this moment? Wow, there's so much I can be grateful for. Now, what is it? To, to be grateful is to, to acknowledge something, to give it attention and to appreciate it. Here in the first tip, Eckhart shares one of the most powerful things you can do for your manifestation is to engage gratitude being grateful for the things we want to manifest in our life it just helps them to come so much faster. And gratitude is actually very powerful scientifically, physiologically for our body and our minds as well. Very powerful and a very important thing we should all be applying in our lives every day. Now, tip number two, connecting to inner abundance. There can be no true feeling of abundance if you don't recognize the playful nature of the world. If you are dependent for your sense of fullness on the forms, there's no abundance. You're just seeking more forms to fill your life up with. <laughs> so here we have then fundamental, the, at the most fundamental level, abundance is being in touch with the source of life within yourself and recognizing it as the essence of who you are course. And then look around and experience the sensory world. And then you can participate in the play without completely losing yourself in it and enjoy the play of form. And then you experience, as you do that, you experience another level of abundance that is the abundance of experiences, of experiencing life in various ways. Through where you go, what you do, relationships, sensory experience even, and even there you don't get lost in it. You can enjoy sensory experience without becoming addicted to sensory experience. And that is to being able to enjoy sensory experience and whatever you do is also abundance. It's the part of the fullness of life. And then it's possible that uh, 
also things come into your life. And then you can enjoy things also for what they are without getting worked up about owning them or fear of loss. Enjoy something beautiful, why not? But not obsessively accumulating one thing after another pointlessly, but to, to honor the world of things also is part of being here. So as things come to you, so you're not really, you don't need to seek abundance for the sake of abundance. You have to go to the place of abundance. From there, different levels of abundance manifest in your life. They may include the outermost level, uh, things coming to you. Another great tip from Eckhart, when we can connect to our inner abundance, that abundance within ourselves, that's when we will see outer abundance begin to manifest in our life. Because remember, our inner reality is what makes manifest our outer reality, the mirror principle, the law of correspondence. So if we can connect to the abundance within, we will then see abundance without. Now, tip number three, believe and feel it. And the most powerful way to manifest, if you have a vision in your mind of what it is you want to achieve or create or manifest, and you bring this vision into this sense of still fullness that you sense now, and you bring that together, that is the most powerful creative tool. The way that it's usually expressed, Jesus expressed it too, he said, when you pray for something, uh, believe that you already have it. That's, but I think he probably used actually slightly different words, but that's how it was written down. He uh, he's probably said, feel that you already have it. Whatever it is that you want to have, that you think is going to be, you need to, you need to feel already the feeling that you, and now how do you do that? By feeling that which is beyond uh, the world of phenomena, out of which everything arises, which is consciousness. So when you know yourself as consciousness, that's already the fulfillment. Here, Eckhart shares another powerful nugget of truth with us. We have to first believe our manifestation is possible and believe that we can have it in our lives. And then we have to feel it. What would that manifestation feel like in our lives? By combining these two things together, we can really engage our powerful manifestation muscles. Now, before we get into tip number four, I wanna hear from you. Comment down below and let me know what was the most powerful teaching that you've learned from Eckhart Tolle since you've become aware of him and studied him. You know, for me, it's cliche, but I mean, The Power of Now is just such a powerful book and it really did help to transform my life when I first read his book. So I'm curious to hear what you have to say and you know what the powerful aha moments were for you when you first discovered him. Now, let's get into tip number four. Manifest from the present. Say your goal is to, to, to be widely known and to impact people's lives with your music. Fine, perhaps you'll achieve it. You can visualize it. Oh, by the way, <laughs> When you visualize a goal that you want to achieve, it's not in the future. If, if, if you, this is to do with manifesting, <laughs> when you want to manifest something, uh, it, it doesn't work very well when you think, I, I, I will be famous, I need to be famous, I want to be famous. Not go, good for manifestation. Uh, if you want to manifest something, you have to start with it. the foundation for manifestation is always the present moment. It's never, it's not the future. What uh, it works very simply. Jesus explained it in one sentence, just one sentence. Whenever you pray for something, uh, believe that you have received it and it will be given to you. He said, I want you to have the fullness of life. In some other translations, he says, I want you to have, to have abundant life. Now, abundant does not mean lots of things, because that would mean that shopping malls are the kingdom of heaven. 
So, ab ab abundant life does not mean abundance as many things. That abundance is a d the deeper place of a sense of, of, of intense aliveness, the fullness of life that you feel within you, that is abundant life. Presence, to feel the life that you are, the consciousness that you are, out of that everything comes. That's the fullness of life, or abundant life. You feel it in this moment. And then, if you then want to achieve something, you bring a vision, what you want, and to let it merge with that feeling. Let's say you want, you're a great musician that's reaching, who's reaching millions of people, and you see yourself as this great musician reaching millions of people, but not in the future. How does this great musician feel once he has reached or she has reached millions of people? This is exactly how it feels. The fullness of life. You feel it right here now. You merge the vision with the feeling of fullness of life, which is presence. And then that's manifestation. This is by far the most powerful, and that's why I put it at the end of the list. All of manifestation, and really all of anything in life, happens in the present. But when we manifest specifically, we don't want to manifest, I will be rich, or I will have the lover of my dreams, or I will be healthy. We want to manifest in the present tense. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am loved. We have to manifest it as if it's already here. We have to express gratitude as if it's here now. We have to connect to the inner abundance now for it to manifest now outside of ourselves. And we have to believe and feel it like it's here now. That is the secret to manifestation. But before you go, the one mistake we all make, this is a mistake that can actually set us back because it messes up and interferes with these four steps. And before we get into that, if you like this video or got value from it, smash the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ping the notification bell so you don't miss any more of our great content. And check the link in the description below. I have left my top list of manifestation and self-help books that have supercharged my life and really helped me. And leaders are readers, and the more we read, the more we expand our minds, the better our lives can become and the more possibilities we see before us. So be sure to check it out. It helps to support the channel and keep it ad-free, and I greatly appreciate it. Now, let's get right into it. The one mistake we all make, seeking happiness in external things. Well, I'll let Eckhart explain. So manifest abundance from the inside out not from the outside as hoping that you go find some inner state through external things <laughs> that is the dilemma of many people who practice manifesting which of course manifesting is a something that you can use and it works if it's done rightly but the dilemma or the fallacy is the belief that whatever you manifest is going to make you happy. It's to seek the fullness of life through what you manifest, through things. And that doesn't really work. What about manifesting something. Yes, you can, if you want, it's part of the play of life. If you've wanted to manifest something and you feel the connectedness with source, and say, oh, well, I'd like to manifest maybe a bit more space in my life on an external level and some greenery. It's a preference. You don't need it for your health, happiness and fulfillment, but a preference. You can do that, you can visualize, it's a play of form. And if you feel the abundance already, visualization is very easy of abundance if you wanted it. Usually it comes even by itself. If you're connected with abundance, it comes by itself. But if you want to add something just as a play, as a preference, you can. It's playful because happiness is the connectedness with the unmanifested, with it is the joy that is not caused by anything out here. Uncaused joy. That is the joy of aliveness itself, the joy of being conscious,
that of consciousness itself, life enjoying itself, life recognizing itself. And in that self-recognition, there is joy. I am life. That's joy. We don't manifest to seek happiness in those external things. We have to be abundant and happy within first in order for abundance and happiness to manifest outside of ourselves. And Eckhart stated that beautifully. Check out this video right here to learn the seven secret steps of manifesting and take your manifestation practice further. I hope you choose to make it a great day. Much peace to you, my friends.